In this problem, we're going to find the Laplace transform of the convolution of these two functions. So it's the convolution of e to the negative t with e to the t cosine t. All right, so there's a formula uh, or a theorem called the convolution theorem. And it basically says to compute this, you simply take the Laplace of each piece and you multiply them. This will be the Laplace of e to the negative t times the Laplace of e to the t cosine t. So there's a couple of formulas we need to use here. So first recall the Laplace of e to the a t is equal to 1 over s minus a. This is a really important formula, uh, totally worth knowing. So in this first example here, a is negative 1. This will be 1 over s minus negative 1, so it'll actually be s plus 1. For this next piece, we have to use something called the first translation theorem. The first translation theorem says if you have e to the at times f of t, and you're trying to find the Laplace transform of that, um, you can drop the exponential function and write this as the Laplace transform of f of t, and then you replace the exponential function with a shift. So you go from s to s minus a. So in this case, a is 1. So this will become the Laplace of the cosine of t. And we replace e to the t with a shift from s to, well, a is 1, so it'll be s minus 1. Good stuff. All right, let's keep going. This is 1 over s plus 1 times... And now we have the Laplace of cosine. So the formula for the Laplace of cosine kt, I'll refresh your memory. So the way I memorize this one is cosine has the s. So it's s over and then s squared plus k squared. So here we have s over s squared plus, and then k is 1, so it'll simply be 1 squared. And then this piece here is being shifted. This is, we're taking s, and we're going to s minus 1. And yes, my s is, that's my s. This is my s. I don't do this because then it looks like a 5. Watch. 5s. I don't want to encounter situations like this, and I have. But if I do 5s, it's a little bit uglier, but I know it's an s. Now we just make the substitution. So this is 1 over fancy lowercase cursive s <laughs> plus 1. And then here, it'll be s minus 1 over s minus 1 squared plus 1. Let's go ahead and combine these into 1. So it'll be s minus 1 up top. And on the bottom we'll have s plus 1. And then s minus 1 squared plus 1. And that'll be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.